What's up everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters. I'm Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video between these two massive statues you see sitting yeah, in front of us. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So we got the Wolf Predator from Zion Art and, uh, uh, versus, well not really versus, but comparing it to um, the Jungle Hunter from Sideshow Collectibles. And of course we got this exclusive version too. Yeah. The best version. Yeah, yeah. I, honestly, if you don't have the exclusive, I'm sorry, because the exclusive exclusive or bust. Yeah, that's really yeah for this one. Yeah. I think so too. But um, yeah. So we, as you can tell, both of these statues are massive. Like yeah. they're huge. Yeah. I think. Oh, you know what? You want to start? You want to start off, or you want me to start off? Okay, I think. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a comparison on the on these. Each one of them has some great points versus the other one right like i'll tell you one comparison that i've noticed since uh since since we've sat down is the texture of the skin i think the texture of the skin probably would go to the sideshow one yeah yeah that's, the, that's yeah. what i was saying yeah the texture it, it looks a little bit more more reptilian, reptilian yeah rather as far than as the wrinkles and everything yeah and rather than the smooth texture of this right which again, it's not a knock on this on the no, wolf predator at all. It's not, not no knock on that. And you notice we also posed the wolf predator with the, uh, the mask version. on this time, because right? Because the review we had the unmasked version. A lot more to talk about in the uh, in the unmasked right. the review. I think um, for me, one of the main things that stands out to me are the bases on both on both of them. I'm gonna move this mask out the way. I'm gonna move the mask version out the way. I think um, for me the the highlight of the bases because both of them have really good bases. I think they did a good job, you know, for what it was for the the sideshow one. Yeah. Far as st simulating the jungle and everything. The jungle these, terrain. Yeah, I think they did a good job with that. But the Pred alien on the wolf predator's bust. I mean, on the wolf predator's statue. I think that right there easily makes this one the best one. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. That, I, I think it's just because of the Pred Alien. Yes. That, that base for the, for, the pre, um, for the Wolf Predator, the Pred Alien just stands out so much far as the, the fluorescent blood, the, the being able the texture to, of it. Yeah. And being able to look of it. And being able to simulate from the movies the um, Pred Alien with his dreads, with the spikes on the end and everything like that. I just think that this, the base on this one, for me, is superior just for the pre alien alone. Right. That's a that's a kind of hard that's a hard thing to beat though with a base. Yeah, it is. I like, mean, I only think I've seen one base that compares anywhere close to it. But I do have to say the king the king alien uh, yeah. base is best. That's 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 probably the pinnacle of it. That's probably the best base out of all the sections. Right. Have. But I mean, you can't really. It's it's hard to beat that. But I do think there is some good points. Oh yeah, this one. It's, it's, I uh, agree. The jungle terrain, you know, because he is the jungle hunter. Right. You have to have you have to have something from the movie to make a movie accurate. And I agree. Like I agree because um, they have the branches and the leaves on the back of yeah, this one I right mean, here. It just looks like a jungle terrain. You know, the topography of you know of a jungle. And, and that's and I don't want to say the the wolf predator base is superior. I think that. Each one of their bases had, and I want to retract that because I think I did say it was superior. Yeah, I, I you don't did. mean. But yeah, I want to retract that. I think each base has something unique that really highlights their version right. of their predator. Like Wolf Predator went against the Prey Alien, so he has a Prey Alien on the base, and the Jungle, jungle Hunter, Hunter is in the has jungle. topography from the jungle. So both of these bases are, are top, I, I think, really good. Yeah. I only think my my only complaint far as the version one, I really wish they would have done a better job. Highlighting water. That's the only thing I would wish they would have done a better job in. Just making the water from a stream or something look a little bit more um, prevalent in the, in the base itself. You know, I don't like I don't like to see some mud on his feet or something like that. Yeah. Right, and, and that's and like I said, there's but both of these bases are top notch. Yeah, like I, I really enjoy looking at both of them. Both of them are, are amazing. Well, 
let's just go ahead and be honest. The Wolf Predator one is better. And and it really and it, well it really and, and is. it's uh, and it, the main reason why is because of the Prey Alien. Exactly. Head. I mean that's the main reason that's why. That's like I mean we can go ahead and say it too. I mean the reason why Noguchi's base is awesome is cuz she's stepping on a Xeno. Right. Head. And honestly, I mean, you're right. And the rest of the base is pretty plain. Like that's right. understandable. Cuz you don't really want to put I mean it really wasn't it really don't want to put too much in this base. There's really not much to put into it. Right. But the prey alien head is what makes this base stand out so much compared to the um, the sideshow um, jungle hunter. Right. It's just it's it's such an attention grabber. As soon as you see it, it immediately grabs your attention. I don't know, man. That whole statue is kind of an attention it, it really, grabber. Yeah, it I mean, is. he. What? Honestly, though, if you really look at the two statues, that one, the wolf predator. Kind of shines over it really, the jungle hunt, and and I'm gonna go into, and we're gonna go into detail why I yeah. think it outshines it. So um, let's move on up. Move now, on far up as the far as the accessories, the armor or the, the accessories, no, well, both. Well, I'll classify them as both. Okay. I, I think the wolf predator has the advantage over this one because there's so much more. There's so much like they got the mines, the double, um, the dual. Uh, shoulder cannons, yeah. the the backpacks on the back of the predator, the spear, the the metal guy. How do you pronounce where, that? Where word? the hell that? Yeah, is. whatever. The ninja star, shuriken. We'll yeah, call it that. Yeah, That's, yeah we'll call it the, the the shuriken being metal. The blades on his on his um, wrist gauntlet the, uh, are yeah. metal. You know, and they're bigger too. Yeah, and they're yeah, and they're and they're more highlight and bigger. Like, don't get me wrong, the shot the sideshow collectibles one is really good. Like it really is, and but I think that because of all the extra um, accessories that came with the Wolf Predator, I think that's what makes this one. It highlights the the attention to detail. Yeah, yeah. And for me, that's I don't know. I think this one too has uh, is kind of an attention grabber too. For oh, me. it is. Well, I think the reason why I like the armor on this one too is because it shows the scars. Ah, right. Battle scars. Yeah, like bullet holes. Yeah, you know, there's bullet. a scar right here on his on his calf. There, right. There's some on his med pack. There's dents in the metal. Right. The dents right here. Yeah. Like these these damn things are too heavy to be rotating. I don't have two. I don't have two rotating plates. Oh. We can try, but it there yeah, that they're, one's going to be real hard. Well, yeah, this one. Well, let's turn it around for them. Yeah. So, so I can see what so we can see what so they can see what we're talking about. Like but for like, me, like I said, you can see all the accessories as far yeah, as the wolf predator on the, back. on the back, where he has like you can tell they paid attention to everything in the in the predator versus recreo movie. Which I apologize. I, I'm sorry they had to watch that to really get. All the detail know, right. That, that movie sucks. sucks. That movie sucks. Okay, that's just not even denied. It's, it's got it's the horrible. coolest damn predator. I know. The coolest predator in the worst movie. And, I, and for me, like I said, just all the accessories that the wolf predator has on his statue, to me, that's what really makes this one, um, the Zion art one, stand out a lot more. And not only, let's go, let's go ahead and talk about the body structure. Yeah, like pose. I think the, he's he's he, he makes him look like a little girl. Uh, yeah, because the muscle structure on the wolf predator is really good, like it, huge, huge. His and, arm is the size of his leg. And, and what I like too is that it didn't make it ridiculously, uh, cartoonishly right. huge. It really made him seem like the wolf predator in his on his statue looks intimidating. Yeah, like it really does. Like this, it, the stance, his stature, it just looks intimidating. It just looks like. I mean, we know the wolf predator is a cleaner. That's his job. And it makes him look like, okay, I'm here because you fucked up. Right. Now I got to go clean your shit up that yeah. you messed up on. You ass, you know. <laughs> that's basically what it is. I mean, that's, right. that's the way that the pose is, the body structure. Everything about the wolf predator tells you he's, on this statue, he's here to fix what he fucked up. Right. And, and we, we're not saying the jungle hunter. No, 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 no. Because he did blow the shit out of that jungle. <laughs> yeah, he did. They have a nice little crater in it. Oh, which yeah. I don't even understand how Arnold Schwarzenegger survived that nuclear yeah, that explosion. Yeah. Movie logic, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's movie logic. Now, I'm trying to, like, I think the mesh on the jungle hunter is better because the mesh on the wolf predator is a lot thinner. Yeah. And it, and it doesn't look as, I don't want to say professional because it does look professional. But it doesn't look as 
pronounced and it's loose. It's more loose. Yeah, it's too. more loose, right? And and the the jungle hunters mesh looks a lot tighter. Yeah, looks, like, they're, they're like, like you can actually run through the jungle without getting snagged on something. Right, exactly. So like I said, I do think that the jungle hunter you know does have that with the mesh. Like it yeah. does look. I think their mesh looks a little bit better than the Zion Arts mesh. Right. Which again. These aren't art shots at the, at the statue themselves. We're just comparing and, and you know giving a critique a little bit. Right. Now, is it like the, is, like I do think the the exclusive with the skull is an attention grabber in itself. Yeah. You know, like that's like I said before. Awesome. Like it's for me, it was the exclusive or bust because of the skull and the spinal cord. And I think that it's me, cool. It, it really is. And I think that was one. That's a that's a good little advantage that it has over yeah. the wolf predator because the wolf predator doesn't really have any exclusives or anything like that. I don't know, man. That that spear, that spear is an eye grabber. Yeah, and it is, especially when because like, I mean, it comes off. And, I know you can't see it, but it is an eye grabber. And you know, he'll, he he posts it. pictures in the last video, right? So you'll you'll understand that. I mean, that spear is As you can see, extremely I'm, detailed. It is like it has a lot of the language on it, and I don't know if it has any language. I think it's just it's glyphs. Glyphs. Yeah, yeah, the glyphs. glyphs. Yeah, the glyphs. Yeah, the glyphs. That's what I meant. Or just like uh, it almost looks like Viking glyphs. You yeah, know it I mean? does. And like I said, man, just there's so much that comes with the Wolf Predator statue. That's, yeah, that's what really makes this one stand out. And he's so cool looking, man. And intimidating. Yeah, and he's and I think it really looks in, like the wolf predator looks intimidating. He does compared to him. Yeah. And I think too, which I'm not, I'm not gonna bother taking out the yeah, head. Yeah, it takes a lot. I'm just gonna hold it up. Now the the facial sculpt. I think the wolf predator looks a little bit better. In my opinion, for me. Let me see. I gotta because I gotta look at it. Yeah, yeah. I let you turn around and look at it. The, the the predator. Mm -hmm. I don't ever remember his jaws being closed like that. I think it's not yeah. It. They were when but, Arnold punched. Oh, him. okay, yeah. <clears throat> and I just think the, the 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 head sculpt looks a little bit better on the wolf predator because you can see the highlighted um, acid burns and things like that from fighting Xenos. And the the I, I really love the which on the sideshow version. It looks a little bit more like bone on his teeth. I actually like the resin look, the the, the kind of translucent yeah. look of the um, of the wolf predator's teeth. Yeah. And these things are actually pretty damn sharp. Uh, too, I, I know. I, I hit one. And I, on top of that, we uh, which you can't see right now, which you can't, again, just watch the previous um, watch our review of the wolf predator. There's the veins inside his mouth are really good and oh, really yeah. well drawn. So. Well, we don't get that with this one because no, 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 we don't. Closed. You know, that, that, now, oh, now one thing I didn't mean to cut you oh, off. No, no, good. Now, one thing I do say, will say, I do appreciate the sideshow version coming with a stand for the extra head. Yeah, I, I, that's one thing I wish Zion Art would have added with it, which is like a little small stand for the extra head. Yeah, because now we gotta yeah we gotta lay it on head face. or something like that. Exactly. I do wish they would have added an extra an extra um, stand just to um, hold the head that you're not that you're not. Um, Posing with the statue right. at the time. I tell you one thing I do enjoy more about the uh, sideshow on the face when it comes to the actual face mm -hmm. is the the texture of the skin. Right, and that, they, exactly. They, I think that's basically throughout the entire statue the texture of the reptilian skin. You know that and the spurs too are a little bit. Yeah, the spurs. spurs. That was yeah. another point I was going to make. Good, good call. But I was going to make that too. They never put any spurs on his head. On the wolf predators, right? Even though he should have, because he he's, should have. he's older, right? He should so have, he should have some. some, and he did. It did on the bus, right? But, but still, you know, there's there's good points and there's bad points, but really, not, there's, there's bad, not really bad. No, no, no. It's just it's just personal preferences right. that we wanted to include on the statue. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Another thing that the Zion art one has is the leather. For the yes. actual garments, right? Because I mean, it, that's, it feels like paper. It, 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 that, that's I think it. I think it's like. I think it is paper. No, I. I, I wouldn't say paper, but if it's, it's paper, it's the be, texture and yeah. the, and the feel of it feels like paper. It, Even yeah. listening to it, you can. It sounds like paper. But the Zion art one, the left, like with the with the exception of the ones on his legs and on his feet, but the loincloth and the thing holding the leather holding the mines. It feels like real leather. 
So now the leather on uh, the Jungle Hunter, like the necklace of the Jungle Hunter, that's leather. As right. To where I think the necklace on the Wolf Predator, I think that's like a hemp kind of thing. I think so I, too. I think it is. Right. Or something, something similar. And, to and that. I like the skulls better on the necklace too. Like, Which one? On um, the Wolf Predator. I think the skulls on it are better. I think that's just because he's uh, got better trophies. Probably. Yeah. You know, I mean, these are these are kind of. I mean, these one, are kind of minuscule, you know what I mean? Right. And you one, know? and another thing I think Zion Art did a little bit better than the Sideshow was the dreads. Look, the dreads are the material they're made from make them a lot more flexible and that it, it looks like you can bend them. Like, it looks like they're plastic because I can bend it, pre I can bend it pretty, pretty good. Like the Sideshow ones, not so much. That's, yeah, you, it's you, stiff. If, yeah, if you, if you if try you, and bend it too much, you're going to break it. Right. So, because like the Zion Art ones, it's almost like, like you, as you can see right now, I'm bending it really well. I mean, I mean, almost into a circle. So, I think that for me is what they, they made a very good design decision on the Zion Art dreads because the dreads have a habit of breaking. Yeah. It's being stiff. That's the worst part about the Predator statues right. is the dreads. Yes. That seems pretty yeah because like well i said made. man and, and it's all of them like i said they they you can bend them very well so it's easy to to bend them and pose them a little bit more i bet it's almost like a, a like a resin or acrylic thing. something like that some, yeah. some kind of i bet it's almost like a resin because you can you know it bends. No, i think resin is a little bit more solid no it's it's like the resin on on um, the 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 uh death mask oh okay yeah so it's a little bit more solid and and a little bit more a little bit more I fragile well, okay i can't think maybe teflon or something it's i, I, I don't know i don't know whatever they did whatever they used i i really appreciate that because it's it's a lot less likely to break and it's not as 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 it's flimsy as I said, I know usually flimsy is a is a bad word, but for these dreads, I don't think so. I said actually, it's good for the dreads. Yeah, exactly. It is kind of a pain in the ass to put the head on that. It one. really is, and actually, because you got to move the dreads and everything. Yeah. So with this, with the sideshow one, no, they're pretty much stationary. You know, you really can't. They're so like, you can't move these yeah, like that. You, yeah, you'll break it. And that's one of the things I really, really appreciated about the Zion Art dreads is that they're flexible and not easily broken. You know, there's also some other things about like the paint, paint applications. I, I, for me, I think the paint application maybe I, I'll give I the almost slight think they're equal. They're, 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 I think they're a little bit equal, but I'll give the slight, the slightest edge to the sideshow one because yeah. it, the sideshow one gives the, the illusion the of it being a little bit a wetter look, as far as being in the jungle, especially right here in the bottom right here. It yeah. gives it gives a little bit more of a sheen to it. To where it seems like he's in the jungle sweating and it's a little bit more wetter. I would give the that or, to the, the jungle, just the mist of the jungle, you know, hitting him, being just being wet. Right, exactly. So I, I'd, I'd give that one to the sideshow collectibles one. Far and as and the paint job on this skull, yeah, man, that's amazing. Yeah, I like that one. And the weathering of the metal, right? I think the weathering. I think the weathering of the metal is probably a little bit better on the design art one, just because it highlights the 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 recesses and everything in, yeah. the, in the metal so i, I think the zion the art folds and stuff right now like i said for me the main the main thing that zion art has over the sideshow collectibles one is that all the weapons like his is his, um his shuriken and his um and his wrist, wrist blades, blades are metal and the uh the spear is metal right so i think that i'm not sure about the cannons i'm not sure about the cannons but i don't, th I don't think so I don't but for me I, I don't mind I don't mind the accessories on the statue not being being metal. What about but, the whip? You think? No, no, that's, that's not metal. You can't bend it like that. No, that's not metal. I can feel that until that's not metal. But yeah, see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but again, I don't mind that. But for me, the main part. The helmet is. Yeah, the helm. The helmet is metal, which on the side show it's not. For me, the metal helmet and the the metal um, weapons help help bring it out a little <coughs> bit better. Because for me, y'all know if you watched any of my previous reviews. If you're gonna make a sword or something like that, make it metal. Make it metal. It it, high, it helps highlight the statue and it enhances it, in yeah. my opinion. And I'll tell you another thing too. They went. I think the masked version of the Wolf Predator is better. Oh yeah, I, I have to agree. But I think that's not that's not the fault of Sideshow. I just think the Wolf Predator's mask. Looks better than the um, Jungle Hunter's mask, as hmm. far as the design of it. No, I, I almost think if they would have made that metal, it would have looked a lot better. And, and I, I, I can't deny that, but I, th I still think the design of the Wolf Predator's mask 
looks better than the design of the um, original the jungle yeah hunt. i mean i get that i get that yeah. i just think that you know there's some great points on this mess that they could have been done better if it was metal i mean like the bullet hole they could have actually right you know carved it in and it would look more legit rather than being whatever kind of texture but, that is not right. only that but it, we would have got that shine yeah i agree yes which I, see, I wish they were, which the Predator's mask didn't shine that much in the in the movies anyway. Well, it was kind of a right. So even when he took it off, it wasn't really shining. It was more of a but dull. It, it looked heavy. You yeah, know, it did look heavy. It yeah, and went it straight did straight into the mud. Same way. I mean, it, I mean, honestly, that mask right there on the Wolf Predator, it looks like if you drop that one, it's going to go into the mud. Right. You know? I mean, it looks it looks heavy, and honestly, it, it is. really is kind of heavy. That thing is at least I'd say at least. Two at least pounds. one to two pounds. Yeah, yeah, at least. Which is which is to me is good. Because, sketchy. And well, no, like I said, because I've tested it. He's still a little worried, oh, yeah. but I've tested. It, but the fact that he were able to make this to where that two pound mask can hang on this head and not damage that is it. That's one hell of a mask. Yeah, uh, magnet. Not even just that. It's one hell of a design. Yeah. I mean, it's it, they did a good job on that. They had to take the the face off to make the mask fit in right. on it. So I so I do appreciate that. I just for me. I, I think that there's a little bit more attention to detail in the wolf in Zion Arts Wolf Predator. Well, you see the uh, little language right here on his blade. Right, exactly. It, I, I just think there's a little bit more attention to detail. Yeah. And like I said, this is I, I love the the Jungle certain, Hunters. That's, certain that's details. a good huh? Certain details. Certain details. Yeah. Like I said, I love the Jungle Hunters that Sideshow Collector was come at came out with. But I think they're just a little bit more to the wolf predator because of the accessories the, the, the weapons pose, being metal the build of that and on top of that the main for me the main crime that the sideshow version committed was not having the helmet light up that's the biggest crime for me because the zion art ones which i don't have the batteries for i gotta go buy some but the zion art one actually lights up so for me, and for me, I think any predator statue, it, it the the main thing is it, that's one of the most recognizable things from the predator is that those tri that tri beam tracker. Yeah, the and, three dots. Yeah, that's one of the most recognizable symbols and things about the predator. And for me, if you're gonna make a predator statue, that needs to light up. Yeah, that it really does. If well, I mean, it's, I mean that's. No, it's that's lazy. It's, it's no. kind of how they have to do it. You, it has to light up. Yeah, you have to have it. Because not doing it to me is lazy. You know, I mean, any any statue company I mean, knows that that is one of the main things about the predator was that light up helmet. But you and, got, I mean, they got this. But that doesn't connect. It just connects, it connects to connects that, to the backpack or right, whatever. and that's it. And but I mean, you figure, you know, if they this could have been a power gonna, source yeah, if exactly they if for the batteries. If they're adding that, then why not make it light up? Exactly. That for me was one of the biggest crimes for the sideshow release is that it didn't have the helmet. I mean, you to light got up. little details like this little hose here, right. or Again. You know, all these little skulls. Why, right. can't, why can't you put a battery somewhere? I'm sure you can hide it somewhere. They yeah, I, I agree. I mean, there's no for me if you can if they can put them in the hot toys predators. To me, there's no reason why they should not have put that in the maquette. Right. Because especially for that amount of money that they're charging that they were charging for it, there's no reason why that they should have that not have added a light up helmet. That should have been added. Well, I think another thing too that the design art has is the pose. Yes, I, I just look that pose looks menacing. It it's looks menacing, and he looks like a big bad motherfucker you just don't want to mess with. Exactly. As to where you put him beside the jungle hunter, he makes the jungle hunter look like a little bitch, even though we know he's not. Right. But he makes him look like that. Especially with all the accessories and weapons I'm he has. I'm telling you, <laughs> he's carrying a human skull. But he still makes him look like a bitch. I, I, it, I mean, honestly, it's, just that it's the stature and, and the pose that I think that really highlights that yeah. what you're talking about. So I, I said, for me, like I said, each each statue has its its has own great unique, points. Yeah, yeah it has great points. I just for me, in my opinion, if I had to choose between the two, which we, 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 that's what we always talk about with our yeah. comparison videos. If I had to choose between the two, I only had the money to get one. I would get the Zion Art Wolf Predator because yeah. it's a lot more accessories. You got a light up helmet. The the weapons are metal. I just think it's a lot more attention it's to cool. detail. Yeah, yeah. And way cool. I, I, I can't this, say it's way cooler, but it is cooler. It, it's cooler, and it's to me, it's just you can tell. 
You can tell that this was mass produced, which again, it's not a bad thing because they did a good job on it. Yeah. But you can tell that this one was a lot more care put into it because of all the attention to details and, and the accessories. 50, there's only 50. Yeah, there's only 50 worldwide of these, and that's it. And you can kind of tell that because it's a lot more attention to detail put into it. Yeah, and it's You can tell stuff. they really watched, they looked over that movie and really, really brought home. God, that sucks though that they had to I know, I know, I know. Uh, uh, it sucks that they had to watch it over and over again, all the details right. But like I said, just for me, that's what makes me want the Wolf Predator version a lot more than the Sideshow version, yeah. the Zion Art version. I'll, I'll be honest. I enjoy all three. I love the, the City Hunter. I love the Jungle Hunter. But man, that Wolf Hunter is on almost, almost on a different level. Yeah, I think I, it is I too. think it's just the Predator, you know, the Yauja himself. I think he's just on a different level. He's just better. Right. I mean, he just looks better. He's cooler. He's huge. Everything about him just screams tactical. You know, everything about him just screams, I'm a better killer than the, than the jungle hunter or the city hunter. Right. I mean, you can agree with that. Well, right? I can. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. And like I said, just, again, this is not a shot at the sideshow version. Like, no. The sideshow version is good. Like, I think that it's is just really the good. predator himself. Right. And like I said, just, there's just so much going, there's just so much on the wolf predator compared to the sideshow um, jungle hunter that it just helps. It really, especially when they're side by side, it even makes the Wolf Predator version stand out even more. Yeah, the that's base, the thing. The yeah. base, you got the, the the second head. You know, Sideshow's got their 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 awesome. They're great things. They've done great things with these these. Yeah, I, like I said I agree. I, I'm a big fan of the Sideshow Jungle Hunter. But it's just that it's this just one, that one that yeah, that Wolf one, this Wolf Predator man, just really like who, Zion Art really did a good job. Yeah. On this wolf predator, yeah, like there's no ifs ands or buts about it. I still, it doesn't I open. Still, I still wish the petty bomb. I know me too. Man. I wish it lit up, lit up, and you know, like said "fuck you" or something. Something like that. <laughs> you never know. In their language, that's maybe what yeah. it said. <laughs> We're counting down to "fuck you." Which, and on the side show version, is not movie accurate because if you remember, it has four, four because it only has two on here. No, that's that's when it's open. Is when it has the four. Remember, no, that's it's open already. No, it's not. Are you sure? Yeah. I See, think it he, is. Yeah, he needs to slide down this little beam right here to open it, remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. So just... Fuck you. So like I said, man, just for me, if I had the money and I only could pick one, it's got to be... It, to me, it's Design Art Wolf Predator. That's yeah, to me I, superior. And from, I'm not going to say in every way because there are some things that the Sideshow version does better. Texture. Right. Texture, one. mesh, you know, the exclusive. The there skull. Are, the, yeah. the wet look. Yes. So there are some things that the Sideshow version does better, but I think overall, the overall look of the statues, the Wolf Predator has it. Like yeah. it's, it's I, not, I, I, I don't agree. think it's close. I I'm think gonna, it, yeah, I'm going to agree with you on this one. I think that if I had the money to buy one, it would be the Wolf Predator. Right. That, that is me. Like I said, just, I think there's just so much going on for the Wolf Predator in this, and on his statue that it, it overshadows. He just, he just screams badass. He does. And, and it does. I mean, they're both badass. Exactly. Honestly. I mean, they're both better than, than the best kind of humans. You right. know what I mean? But still, this, this guy here, he's a badass of the badasses. Yep. So, yep. So, I, I think I'm good. Yeah, me too. So, everybody, don't forget to leave us in the comment section. Leave, a, um, leave in the comment section, which one do you prefer? Which one do you think looks better? Because I know some of you probably have the Sideshow version. You probably, I don't know how many of you have the Xeon art. Probably not many, if any of you. But if you, had, if you only had the money to choose one, which one do you think would be the one that you'd go with? And don't forget to, don't forget to look at the, also the, the City Hunter too, man. Because you know, he's, he's pretty awesome too. He's yes, an he awesome is. statue. Yeah, it is. That one's a little bit more plain than everybody else, but I don't know. You, gotta, you gotta go by the movie. The color scheme on that one yeah. is a lot. I think the I think color the co scheme on that one's better. Yeah, I think so too. All right, everybody. So I think we're done, man. I, I really appreciate y'all joining us for um, today on this comparison video for Sideshow and Zion Art Predators. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that hit that notification to get notified of our video, future videos. Yep. But uh, I'm Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.